there has been a lot of NVIDIA information that has literally dropped within the past hour. Like, pretty much NVIDIA 1080 Ti crap has gone crazy. NVIDIA has officially revealed the GTX 1080. Not really officially, kind of leaked by mistake. NVIDIA has officially announced their plans to release the GTX 1080 GPU, offering 980 Ti owners a chance to pre-order the GPU early or take part in the setup program. This is something new NVIDIA is working on. Right now, NVIDIA has not released any details and specifications on the upcoming GPU and has not set a firm launch date, though the final answer our long-time question is where is the GTX 1080? Now, I could read you verbatim, basically, oc3d.net, one of my favorite sites because usually when something leaks, they have a little information before anyone else. But let's go to some other stuff, some things to give a bit more insight as to what exactly is going on with this uh, supposed confirmation. Now, this is from PC World. Between the introduction of the Shield lineup, GeForce Experience 3.0's mandatory registration and the arrival of GeForce Now cloud-based PC game streaming, it's clear that NVIDIA has been striving to position itself as a one-stop gaming ecosystem for PC gamers, rather than a mere purveyor of graphics cards. Now, what appears to be an accidental TMI outburst at the end of a recent NVIDIA job posting pulls back the curtain on exactly how the company is approaching gamer loyalty and hints at unannounced GeForce products that may be on the horizon, including a premium GeForce Elite membership and a hotly anticipated GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. So it's more along the lines of like a LinkedIn release, you know, like someone on LinkedIn let something spill and now everybody who's like scouring the internet has found this sort of thing. Posting for senior marketing manager, the GeForce gaming loyalty and advocacy pro position on LinkedIn includes a long extra section below that blurbs on how NVIDIA views the GeForce Experience program as well as the schedule of the GeForce Experience giveaways on the aforementioned teased for new products. Well first off we've got is the GeForce Club. For some good reason, whoever wrote this section seems to truly consider GeForce Experience a boon than GeForce owners and thinks GeForce Rewards is more than giveaways. It's a club with exclusive benefits for GeForce users. The author writes, though the club we can help improve our customers' gaming experience and build a GeForce GFE community. Uh, I'm part of that community, the forms. It's a lot of uh, them putting out drivers, the drivers being shit, people complaining. Like, basically, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, and you're somewhat tech savvy. Uh, you don't have to join the GeForce Experience thing, but it kind of helps. That way when a new graphics driver gets released, you go in there and you read what everybody has to say about it. If it gets the okay from the community, download it. If it doesn't, fuck it. Because otherwise, if you listen to Marcus Emanuel, whoever that guy is that works for NVIDIA that tells us the gr drivers are out and says he's listening, you know, before you know it, it's a shitty driver, your computer's running like ass. The most recent driver released, and it removes SLI for Titanfall. So, you know, why even bother that driver if you like Titanfall? I'm sorry, I digress, I'm off subject. The 1080 Ti and the Club GeForce Elite. In a section called Target Spot Prizes to Drive Sentiment Reward, Behavior and Grow Advocates, NVIDIA discusses giving away free game codes and activate GeForce form members and GeForce users who can confirm bugs and submit superb features, requests, standard stuff. So I guess it's a reward program for people who are purveyors of the community, so on and so forth. You know, they damn sure owe me something. I have a video showing you how to get past some of the bugs in the GeForce Experience, the driver that fucks up your shadow play. NVIDIA for the past year or two has been using my video and sending it to people on how to fix the issue they had because the customer service just doesn't give enough of a shit to figure it out. They're like, oh, this guy kind of has it figured out. Go use this. And people come to my page all the time telling me about this. And I sit there and think, oh, thanks, NVIDIA. Not even a shout out, not even a thank you, not even an email. They're just like, ah, eh, he could do our job for us. Not even a fucking paid contractor. A bit of bitterness. But to follow up on the bullet point suggests dishing out free game codes to users who rank most negative and most positive on our sentiment tools. Again, tracking user sentiment is pretty standard stuff in the world of big data. But it shines a light on the fact that NVIDIA is watching what gamers say about GeForce. This is likely to make users who already feel disturbed about the mandatory GeForce registration even more skittish. This isn't exactly great 1080 Ti news. The final part of the Target Spot Prizes section suggests that NVIDIA is indeed planning a rollout of the GeForce 1080 
Ti graphics card. Though it's unclear if the prize is being discussed in theory or is a definitive plan that the 980 Ti users get first spots online for the 1080 Ti pre-orders or setup offer. It says some rumors suggest the 1080 Ti could be announced at Nvidia CES keynote in January as many of us have speculated. While others say Nvidia plans to keep the card in its back pocket as an ace in the hole against the Radeon's Vega card, AMD will roll out sometime the first half of 2017, which is a very valid and interesting point because if Vega is as badass as it was showing in the press conference AMD just recently did, Nvidia is going to need something to answer it and let's hope that it still isn't enough to sort of knock them on their ass. At the end of the job posting, there's a really juicy stuff in the description of previously unannounced Club GeForce Elite subscription as the loyalty programmer develop, which sounds like it may be an expansion of an $8 per month GeForce Now, which is currently on only available on Nvidia Shield consoles. GeForce Elite Club will cost $10 per month in exchange, subscribers will receive several benefits, a rotating bundle of four free games from the GeForce App Store per quarter, along the lines of Xbox Live games with gold freebies, exclusive in-game items in GeForce gear, and a free GeForce PC in the cloud subscription. Nothing called the GeForce Experience App Store currently exists, nor any GeForce PC in the cloud, though that could be a reference to the GeForce Now service itself. Perhaps Nvidia is planning to finally expand the GeForce Now program to PCs. Could a replacement for the superb Moonlight app, which lets you use Nvidia's game screen tech to stream your games to any PC or mobile device, will be in the cards. Time will tell. It seems in the meantime, here's a screenshot of the full text. This could explain why GeForce was just so intent on the whole fucking signing into GeForce experience that a lot of people did not like and it left a sour taste in their mouth. I myself was not pleased with it. Also the telemetry that they had implanted in there could explain a lot here in this article. Basically meaning they're data mining the shit out of us to see what they can and can't market to us and what we're actually up to and what we might possibly be interested in. Who's to say? The whole giving a pre-order exclusive to 980 Ti owners seems interesting. I mean, there's some incentive there for people who are interested in the 1080, which is a lot of people. But does this apply to people who owned a 980 Ti at some point and then upgraded to a 1080? Or does this apply to people who have a 980 Ti and have been waiting and still using the same card to upgrade to the 1080 Ti? Like, how are they going to go about executing this? Because I'm pretty sure there'll be people who sit there and go, Hey, I had a 980 Ti, I sold it to get a 1080, what the fuck? I don't know. I, I really don't know. And this paid subscription GeForce Experience, like, wow. I mean, yes, it's an elite version, but do we really need more content exclusive shit? I mean, the fact that games come out and there's special Amazon Day 1 DLC or GameStop or, or Walmart. Now we have to contend with exclusive GeForce NVIDIA content for Watch Dogs 3 or some shit. Really, it's, oh God, I don't know. It's not even like GeForce Experience is that amazing. I mean, yes, it's good, but there's a lot of times where it's a real pain in the fucking dick, and you gotta have the patience of the sages to get through it. Ugh, this is a, I don't know what to make of this. I really, it's just like a whole swill of information spinning around in my head, and I'm just, I am flabbergasted. I need some water, and the single healthiest hooker that this town has to offer. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna get off right here and rub my fucking head. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. Don't forget that sharing is caring. I have a Twitch. I have a Twitter. I have an Instagram. I have an incurable disease called lack of fame, and only you can do something about it. I should just talk like a, a 1940s radio DJ. Coming in at number one, here's I've got a scratch on my vagina. God damn it, Casey Kasem. It'd be like, you know, like a condom or like, you know, <laughs> texture. for her pleasure. More like ripped for his pleasure, I guess. Yeah, now. Gravel for his pleasure. <laughs> for his pleasure. <laughs> I, I would like to point skin. out that we do have a 15-year-old child present. Don't yeah, y'all are horrible people, man. Yeah. What kind of parent are you? Hey, ch child or no child? You are help horrible people. I'm scared of all. <laughs> we have lost objective <laughs> darkness. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait,